Hey, what's going on guys? It's Drake with Extreme Sports here in Joplin, Missouri. And today we're gonna to be talking about head, chest, and upper thermal protection. So there's tons of different styles of different hoods, beanies, vests, uh, headbands, all kinds of different stuff that kind of has different purposes. And we're here to kind of select and choose the right one for you for the specific type of diving you want. So to start off, we have these uh, do-rags. These are from Innovative Scuba. They have a little flap here in the back, covers the back of your neck a little bit, and then you have a spot where you tie off. So basically this will secure everything, and it kind of has a nice cool look, kind of a little rad look, but they have these little pinholes in the top. This allows air to escape outside the, uh, the inside of the beanie, and they've got a couple different designs that you can choose from and some different colors as well. Okay, moving on. So next we have a just pullover hood. This one happens to be Scuba Pro's Nova Scotia hood. Extremely nice. This is this type of hood that comes with dry suits and things like that. Uh, but you are able to purchase this, this hood separately. They have these buttons in the back that actually snaps to the back of your wetsuit um, if you have their Nova Scotia series wetsuit. And what's cool about this one is it still has those pinholes in the top side, but it actually has um, really nice lining on the inside as well, uh, nice wicking material, um, but it has this little cover hole. So it allows air to escape, but it does not allow water to enter in because this is a semi-dry hood as well. Um, so extremely nice hood, but these are more for, you know, cold water diving, things like that, um, covering your ears quite a bit more, covering your cheek, your jaw, everything like that, getting that extra thermal protection um, from the hood itself. Moving on. We have hooded vests. So obviously it's a vest that has a hood on it. Um, but what this one happens to be the two millimeter Everflex from Scuba Pro. And what's really nice about this one is you can layer up. So let's say you have a three millimeter wetsuit. You decide to go ahead and put this on underneath it and it allows you to give, give your body five millimeter protection uh, in your chest region and a two millimeter hood on, the, on, the, uh, on your head. This is perfect opportunity, you know, uh, for if you're wanting to extend your, your dive season a little bit more, maybe start a little bit earlier. If you're wanting to start diving in May or so, pretty cold water, um, especially really harsh thermoclines, but this is a good opportunity and kind of extend you into that October, November area as well. Um, but this one does not have a, a hole on top of it just because it is a two millimeter. Uh, it is not a, a dry hood, dry vest or anything like that. So water is going to enter in on the inside, um, but that's what it's going to keep you warm. So um, they do make, this is the two mil, they make a two mil, five mil, and seven mils on these. When you're starting to get up into the, the fives and sevens, you start to get pretty restricted at that point. I'm more of a dry suit person for me, um, but uh, this, is, this is a nice choice. <clears throat> okay, and last we have the Scuba Pro headbands. These things are my favorite. And uh, the reason for that is I can quickly throw them on and pull my hair back and keep all that hair um, out, outside my masks. So every time I go to put that mask back on, I don't have hair. Let's slide this thing up a little bit more. And if you can see on the side, you actually have these pinholes. And what those pinholes are for is allow your ears to be able to clear. Um, some of these other hoods, they don't have things like that. Uh, I do think this was a really cool option that uh, the Scoop Pro decided to do. And uh, they have some different colors available in these, but this is kind of more of a tropical um, headband for me, but I do wear this every time that I am not wearing a hooded vest or a beanie or anything like that. Um, just because, you know, keeping that hair out. But it's a nice, you can get some bright colors in them, so these help distinguish you from your dive buddy as well, or some other people that might be wearing the same gear as you. So you can get them in, um, as of right now, you can get them in yellow, you've got a white version, a purple version, a blue version, and an orange version available. And they're only 17 bucks. So they're uh, pretty sweet, but like I said, guys, there's, there's tons of different options that you have available. We had talked about the hooded vest and its purpose for colder water diving. And there's things like this for tropical water diving. Um, but if you guys have any questions or anything, you can always give me a shout. Uh, shoot me an email. It's uh, drake at westernfamilycompanies.com. That'll be down below. And uh, check out some of our older videos. We've got tons of different uh, videos that are going to be popping up here pretty soon, especially in these the off-season hours. 
and uh, I'm going to start rolling out some more. But uh, you guys have a great day. Thanks.